цветать на фалмах. Гриня, блин. You see a lot of filming of me cooking or eating. It's because I was staying at grandma's and I was eating really good. So, mind your own business if I gained 15 pounds or not. Which was actually really good for me because it got me back into the habit of eating three full meals. Because before during school and work, I would hardly eat as well as I should, like maybe a late dinner. So. Жасе my grandmother is very creative and crafty and she's been obsessed with these like little diamond mosaics so she got me a bts one she remembered i like was a fan of them forever this thing was like i think forty thousand pieces me and my grandmother were working on it throughout the whole trip and I still brought it back because we have barely got like a quarter started but it's super fun so now I'm gonna do it with my sister yep but this was a great time it was very relaxing and hopefully you guys will see the finished result soon These aren't my favorite pancakes, they're really so good. They have like, they're like crepes, so you could use like pancakes you made the day before, but they have this like Parmesan cheese filling, so it's like a ricotta or mascarpone, and then my grandma put poppy seeds. And you could eat them with jam or sour cream, they're so good. To be honest, all of my grandma's cooking is amazing, so I was very happy, and she was very happy to feed me all throughout the day. This is the tea shop. My grandma usually goes to buy tea and other stuff. It was really cool. It had a bunch of spices and coffee as well as tea. My grandma introduced us to a new type of tea I've never had before, which was called Amacha. It was sold as Amacha Buddha at this shop. And it's like a tea that's like from hydrangea plants. And it's super sweet. And you don't even have to add sugar in it. It's a really cool type of tea. I was researching it. Like, they have to ferment a certain type of hydrangea because most hydrangeas are toxic. And you only need a couple leaves to make yourself a, a, a cup of tea. The shop was like walking distance from my grandma's apartment. There was like various various little shops as well as like a farmer's market. Um, as well as the main Never store, which is, IK, which is like a, like a small chain grocery store. And this is just a walking montage, so you could see the weather, as well as some of the scenery. It's, it's pretty great, but it's still beautiful to me. This is just clips of me and my grandma preparing dinner. Um, we were gonna make duck, duck breasts, and I actually really like duck and goose. 
probably more than chicken, but obviously it's more like something you have during the holidays, not every day because it's very fatty, but very delicious. I was tasked with cutting the skin so it got crispy when we heated it up. And this is me giving up saying the skin is not cutting and my grandma showing me that in fact it was cutting and me asking like if it would fall off. I see some niggas attack, and don't end up picking it back. I know that 
they had the crib going crazy down bad when they had it in the last damn bag. Yeah. Where did these niggas be at when they said they doing all this and all that? Here you see footage from Acropolis, which is like this large shopping center. It's kind of like a mall. We went there two times during this trip. Once to get Christmas gifts for everyone, another time just to shop around. Mm, mostly for souvenirs. And here's the liquor store where I bought two juice boxes with the euros my sister gave me. I also had blue raspberry Fanta, which I'm very sorry I didn't try before coming back. Here we're at a fragrance store. My mom was looking at perfumes and seeing if the prices were cheaper here. In general, for the fragrances, they were a little bit cheaper than in the US. Almost everything was around the same, except toys were like two to three times more expensive in Lithuania. After shopping, my mom, grandma, and I got some tea and pastries. I got a white tea, my mom got like a herbal blend, my grandma got coffee, and then we all got pastries that were named after a different actor or actress. I had the Emily Blunt, which was like a mango coconut, and it was by far the best one. Here I was helping my grandma make the best things I ate on that trip, which were blueberry dumplings, as well as there were some cheese dumplings, but they were like sweet cheese with poppy seeds. Yeah, so much to get him. Oh, that was
Po pirmo grinėjo tokio mėgų. Ir apsirengiu. Jeigu sviestas vėtumą į žmogą. Sako. Jeigu blogai žinomasi. Nu, gausi pilas dėlės ir bus vumėjai. Jei, jei. O tai tas ir sako, o tai jeigu blogai būgnysiu, gausiu vieną lasdelį ir būsiu dirigentas. Čia jau čia dirigentas šnekas. Aiškiai, nu, kaip gyventas. Aš jau šitų darau, va. Kad darau dainių tėliukus. Ir suikiu su lipinu. Ai, tai ko čia? Nu, iš ko čia? O kai dūnam, tai biškai didesnį darau ir vieną su lenkiu. Nu, nes jai mažiausiai. O paskui, žinai, kai lieka, tai va, kiekvieną gabalių pakočiuoju. Ir tada darau, va, tu šiuo. Štai, mano tėra, taip galičiau. Filmokus YouTube net yra Sinergina pas YouTube'as I spent like three days at my cousin's house I spent most of my time watching my baby cousin play video games She also showed me all her Pokemon cards In Lithuania, Christmas Eve is a more important holiday than Christmas. We have 12 varieties of dishes you have to eat. A little bit of each one to make sure you don't go hungry in the 12 months. And also the next day, you have to eat now Christmas, but my uncle's birthday. Yes, I kept saying I have alopecia and I was just like, oh my god. And a poppy seed bread, which was delicious. I had jam in it. And my gorgeous voice dad is dessert, which is poppy seed cookies and poppy seed milk. Ramūnė gavo kažką. Ramūnė, Ramūnė. Ramūnės, Ramūnės. Ramūnės. 
On the second day of Christmas, I hung out with my dad's side of my family. I hung out with my aunties. They took me to Kono Centras where I did like this. 360 VR tour of MK Chorlonis's paintings and music and it was really really beautiful and cool before that we had to wait so we had some breakfast at this cute little inn I had these pancakes that were really good but there was like so many flavors going on and there was one flavor I didn't like so it was hard to distinguish later on we went back to one of my auntie's house to eat and then we went to this like gardens but like they were obviously decorated for christmas there was a bunch of animals made of lights and they actually played like animal sounds so it was scary it sounded like there were animals in the woods <laughs> <laughs> then we went through these tunnels of fortune and whatever color the lights change when you walk through would be what kind of year you would have and since the lights turned yellow for me that meant I would have a very financially successful year which is exactly what I want We went to an auntie's house and she had some chickens and I pet one and it was very silky soft. And not what I expected. Probably confused on why I'm showing this weird cellar thing, but my grandmother lives in an old Soviet condo complex, so each apartment has their own little like cellar thing where they can keep whatever they want. My grandmother keeps all her files, some miscellaneous stuff and potatoes. That morning I decided I wanted to have breakfast like all the characters in Howl's Moving Castle. My grandma was making sepelene, which is like the most famous Lithuanian dish. It's like a dumpling with the dough made of cooked and raw potatoes, and then you fill it with ground meat and then boil it, and then you serve it with like a bacon cream sauce. It's super delicious. My grandma makes the best sepelene ever.
Uh -oh. Alright, we're gonna do a bit of an unboxing because I did some shopping at Acropolis. So, first thing, actually, my grandma bought this for me. It's a little owl. It's so cute. This is, it says, this is a dull owl. It will teach you that it's okay to be cloudy sometimes. So cute. And then, actually, I have another bigger owl. I can show you that too. <laughs> This is a huge one. He's a little school owl, and it actually has a blanket on the inside, which is going to be really good. I'm just going to take it on the plane like this and just say it's like my pillow because he's kind of heavy and also it takes up quite a bit of room. Unfortunately, this guy has to go in the luggage. I'm going to be packing tonight. That's why I'm going to do the un unboxing right now. So the first thing is from Crumb Deli Crumb. Which was a uh, perfume and fragrance stuff. They actually sprayed the wax paper so it would smell good. Oh, I got some samples. We got just eye serum and then facial cleanser, so I'll just. But I bought the Baccarat Rouge 540 Body Oil. I already have the perfume, so now I have the body oil to go with it. So I'm very excited to use this because I love like coming out of the shower and just put on some body oil that's scented and smells good. There's another one that I recently bought that I love. I'll put that in a different video, like a favorites video. So I got that. And then from... Um, which was like a French lingerie shop. I got this bra. Super cute. It's like a little 
doing yellow floral and then go with it just the matching panties and then from a different laundry shop is an Italian one, Intissimo so from Intissimo it's got very very plain but it's really nice it's a silk brown balconet super shiny and very it was very comfy and then matching underwear of course yeah. oh and also because i bought over 50 dollars um they had a perfume spray so just out of toy day um it smells like cotton candy but i'm probably gonna give this as a gift it's normal and then from Maxima, which is like a like a supermarket, like a Walmart or a Target, I bought a bunch of fluoride free toothpaste because my boyfriend doesn't like fluoride toothpaste. So I got this one gum protection tea tree and grapefruit flavor. I'm actually grapefruit flavor sounds amazing. Then Carries fighting? I don't know what carries are. This was also fluoride for me, obviously. Another grapefruit flavor is so sensitive and whitening. This one's probiotic CBD. Doesn't have a flavor. And then salt. This is organic sensitive from. There's no flavor. Got all of those, and that's it. That's all I've got. But it was a pretty big haul. I don't usually shop this much, so it was very nice to do that. So yeah, this is the end of the mini haul. This was the last night at my grandmother's, so we were packing and getting stuff ready, and just wanted to film to remember how her apartment looked like, so I could always look back. Here we're on our way to Vilnius, which is the capital city of Lithuania. In Vilnius, we decided to stop by the downtown and look at the tree, which was decorated like a cake. There was also a variety of little shops because it was like a little Christmas market, and we didn't shop for anything, but we did get the most delicious little donuts in Lithuania. They're called Sporgos because they're made of like the farmer's cheese, yeah. and they're really good. They, they were mini because usually the Sporgos we have are like really big. We also had hot chocolate, which came with a lot of whipped cream. And at first I thought I liked the hot chocolate, but then it was like too much. It was like bitter. Mm -hmm. And like, I don't know, it was too rich for me. But overall, I gave it like 8 out of 10 because it was very aesthetic and very good, especially the donuts. This is a very blurry video because I was rushing to record because that was the embassy. It was like a really huge building.
And this was just us waiting at the airport, heading back to Chicago. We were still in Vidnos here. And this was right before we were taking off. I was so happy to finally get a window seat of all the flights and transfers we had to do. Finally got to sit by the window. And here's my little guy with a scarf. Money go with aloe, smoking on gelato, foreign car swerving.